Movie thing, you're obsessed. Why? You see, first it's a hobby, and then it's a collection, and then it's a sickness, and then it's an addiction, and I'm far past that. Well, right now in the computer, I got almost 42,000, and I'm still entering. Well, you can see all these things here, they have to go in the computer. What would you say is the oldest movie you have? Well, I probably have one that goes back to 1895. And the rarest? It's called Brenda Starr with Joan Woodbury and Kane Richmond. That was the last Columbia serial ever made. What would I do if I didn't have this? What would I do? Just sit around, read? It takes too long to read talk about Batman and how it came about. It was written by Bob Kane. And when he was young, he saw a movie called The Bat Whispers with Chester Morris. Here we go. He opens up the safe to get the jewels out of there. There's Batman. And Bob Kane was so fascinated with this film, that's how he started writing Batman. See if you might recognize anything here. Who would the lightning remind you of? Or How about Darth Vader? Oh, Darth Vader. Now, a lot of these films with Spielberg and Lucas, they made these films because they watched these serials and they, they stole them from them. Ooh, so you think the fighting devil dogs led to Darth Vader? The character. My wife had a stroke and then she had cancer. I was disabled. We were just sitting around doing nothing, becoming vegetables. So I bought a VHS machine for myself, mm -hmm. and I rented The Whispering Shadow. I saw it when I was three years old. So it wasn't enough to see it, I had to have it. And that's how I started. Do you have a lot of people contacting you? No, all, all of these stars that you see, there's Cher up there. Angelica Houston. And when uh, you say you've worked for these, what do you do for people like this? Give them the movies they're looking for. Carol Adams. Marvin. To Marvin of the movies, more than 50 years ago, Dancing on a Dime and Sis Hoppins were made. You and you alone preserve my youth. I think we can get along without any outside help, don't you? A friend of mine was very, very important at uh, Paramount Studios. His name was Howard W. Koch. So he said to me, a friend of mine's looking for a film that he was in and can't find it. So I said, what picture? He said, The Manchurian Candidate. I said, well, I have that. Yeah, Frank, he's got it. It was Frank Sinatra. So that's why I got the autographed picture of Frank Sinatra there. People have said to me, you, you have to be out of your mind. Well, maybe I am, but I'm helping to preserve a medium too because a lot of this stuff would just be, can you imagine this stuff being gone? I can't. You know, I'll tell you something. If I ever lose my memory, I want someone to shoot me. At my age, I still expect to be around for the next 20 years. And then at the end of that time, I renegotiate.